everybody you are watching vitorials my name is alex and today i'm gonna show you how to create this marine illustration in graphic designer so uh, using this technique you could create all kind of landscape landscapes at nights mountain livescapes hills mines landscapes and so on and so forth let's start this tutorial with alt n or option n on your mac and i'm gonna size it with a block color first of all i'm gonna feed my entire artboard to the size of my screen and start with a circle that occupies 300 pixels of my art so hold alt hold shift or option and shift on your mark and create a circle with the size of 300 i'm gonna navigate to my transform panel uh, click don't forget to click a link and with my up arrow key set it to 300 pixels nice now let's create a couple of duplicates with a clone command ctrl shift d command shift d on your mark and i'm gonna log these duplicates as well as toggle the visibility so hide them make them invisible now grab your pen tool or click p and start creating your waves hold on your anchor points with the left mouse button click key to make them smooth or even better if you don't know how to use pen tool in graphic designer watch my pen tool tutorial guys i'm gonna speed up this part of my tutorial because uh, basically we need to create five to six waves every next and then the previous one I set the fill color to none, so it's going to be easy for me to understand where to put my next wave. Of course, then we're gonna apply the gradient. So now let's make some changes. Of course, I'm gonna change uh, some of my waves. I'm gonna grab all these Bezier handles and make some changes to the waves make some of them overlapping looks good for now let's go and select all of these passes i'm gonna clip it with my circle so select this edge select all of these passes on your last panel holding shift key and navigate to this clip function clip your passes now let's inside this clip let's apply some gradients first of all delete the borders if you have any of them now uh, click on the field to add the fill i'm gonna set the opacity to 50 percent and navigate to the liner gradient and here i have a global swatch and guys i encourage you to do the same with your uh, swatches i encourage you to create one gradient in my uh, in my case it's simple some kind of marine greenish uh, uh, greenish to blue gradient and uh, i have these uh, colors 21435b on the bottom and this color 447f 9e on the top and then you can select all of these passes when you add the swatch to add the swatch simply click plus and apply the same gradient again so now we need to distribute opacity to set opacity to all of these ways individually and i'm gonna start of course with a layer on top of my star because this should have and opacity to around 22 percent next in my list should have an opacity to around 40 percent next should have an opacity to around 50 but i'm gonna set it to 47 percent next in my list should have an opacity to 75 percent and uh, last depends on what you are going to build if you build in something that is stand out on the 
very light background or very bright background you probably want to set it to around 85 percent if you build in something on a dark background um, and you want this um, wave to somehow interact with your sun with your background set it a bit to decrease the opacity but for purpose of my illustration i'm gonna set it to 85 looks very nice now let's grab and make some changes to around these points i'm gonna decrease it like so and this point as well i'm gonna increase it a bit more uh, set it here and of course i'm gonna set decrease the brightness of this gradient probably in my case i need to create another wave that uh, overlaps with these waves and with this as well i'm about to keep it this way because i want to save your and my time but uh, you can build your own version of the design and of course share it with me using gravity uh, designer tutorial group or gravity designer user group and let's go to the clipping path by itself so this ellipse this clipping ellipse with the sharon icon on the left and i'm gonna set the field color delete basically remove selected field first select it and remove selected field so we have no field on our mask on a purpose because we now need to activate first of our ellipses place it inside the mask then using the shortcut ctrl shift down arrow or command shift down arrow move it on the bottom of your stack and apply a gradient for this guy so let's go to the liner gradient and for this i have also a global swatch this is a simple liner two point gradient and i have my dark point on the bottom and this value in hexadecimals 530808 and uh, for my light that is goes uh, a bit beyond this circle i have ff6b6b pretty nice now let's draw a sun and this is, uh, should be a simple circle with a diameter of 125 pixels so grab your circle and draw this perfect circle with a diameter of 125 pixels i'm gonna move this circle and place it right inside our mask and then move it to the bottom of my waves so it's kind of immersed through the waves yes now let's change a color uh, I, again i have this uh, global swatch and i'm gonna apply the color to ed d7 c2 place it around the middle i believe this is the middle and now let's create a couple of copies three copies uh, basically uh, with the transform tool set the scale horizontal and vertical scale to 125 uh, point uh, percent set the point of origin to center i believe it's uh, already set uh, by default and set the number of copies to three to produce it to three duplicates and click apply to create this wonderful sun now let's hack a transparency of all of these uh, rings so and we gonna start uh, let me lock this uh, layer with our background we're gonna start of course with this forward shape with this small circle uh, i'm gonna set the opacity to 75 percent uh, for this circle i'm gonna decrease the opacity to around 50 percent for this uh, circle third circle in our stack i'm gonna set the opacity to around 30 percent and for the last uh, circle i'm gonna set the opacity to around 20 percent like so so looks very nice this is almost the end of this tutorial but uh, i 
Also want to show you how you can enhance this artwork and make it a bit, well, add uh, some mood to this artwork. Because uh, uh, for now it's it's too flat, uh, especially on the background. So uh, unlock your circle and uh, of course make it visible. And with this last circle, navigate to the fill and go to the noise. Uh, guys, I am working on the Windows 7 machine and I have this noise corrupt. I have this noise, it works very unpredictable in graphic designer for, uh, for Windows 7. I think um, I have some kind of uh, raster noise now. So decrease the intensity when I'm working on my uh, tablet I set intensity from 3 to 4 and it works very well for me let me show you how it looks on the on the higher uh, size I have this block and it's uh, intensity of uh, uh, set to 7 I believe let me Yes, it's seven books. Very, very nice. Very nice. And the reason why I put this texture on separate layer because it adds a flexibility for us to apply it to background only, or to the sun and background, or to the whole composition. And uh, of course, you can choose what you want to do with the grain. And I encourage you to share it in the Gravit Designer user group and of course join my Gravit Designer tutorials group. Where I share some tips, tricks and uh, when I going to announce another tutorial and uh, believe me this tutorial is going to be awesome. So subscribe to my channel. Guys, share this video with your friends please. Uh, because uh, my goal is to the end of this year to reach 1000 subscribers. So please help me sharing this uh, video through your social media accounts. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.